What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, we will be installing our own custom themes onto RetroArch. If you guys saw the last video on my channel, it will show you guys completely how to install this and set it up, and it's actually very easy. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and start RetroArch, and I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare for this. Obviously, we're gonna use our PC in this video, so we will need to connect our PS Vita just in a little bit. But if you guys have RetroArch on your PS Vita, and it looks something like this, you actually want to change it to the XMB GUI. If you leave it on, you know, Ozone, one of these weird ones, it's not really going to work. So what we're going to do first is just going to go over to Settings. We need to press just press um, Circle on Drivers. Now what we need to do is scroll down and we're looking for the menu. So as you can see, mine is on Ozone. What we're going to do, press Circle and we want to change it to X and B. Now once you've selected X and B and pressed Circle on it, you just want to press X to go all the way back to the main menu. So then we're going to go up to Main Menu, we're going to select it. And what we need to do is basically just edit our configuration file. So we're going to press circle to go onto it, and we just need to save current configuration. So just press circle, it's going to be saved, and there you go, that is literally it. Now it's going to be using the XMB, and we will be able to edit this and put a custom theme on it. Let me just show you what the XMB looks like. If I just close it down, just open it again very quickly, you guys will be able to see that it's the official um, RetroArch XMB, just like the XMB that you'd have on your computer, on your Android phone, maybe your PC as well, and as you can see, it looks just like this, and everyone's very familiar. We're basically going to be getting some custom wallpaper um, that should actually look pretty cool. So what you guys want to do um, just to get these custom themes, you can also make your own themes as well. You want to go over to Vita Shell and we're just going to go ahead and start this up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press the select button and we need to connect our PS Vita to our computer via FTP, via USB cable. It's completely fine, both of them work the same. So let's go and do that now and I will show you guys how to set up these themes. Alright guys, so once we're over on our computer, I'm going to leave a Reddit link in the description of this video. This guy called I Can Ever Knew The Rules, he actually made a load of RetroArch themes and he put them in a Google Drive link so we can just download them and basically get them working on our PS Vita very easily. Um, he's also made a guide so I guess we could take a quick look at that and it's very simple. So what you guys want to do is go to this post, it will be in the description of this video. What you want to do is just click on grab it here and it's going to link you to the Google Drive files as you can see there's a few here. And and basically what you want to do is just choose any theme you want. So if you're not sure what these themes look like, what you can actually do is just click or just double click to go into the files. And you've just got to kind of look at these pictures and get an idea of what the theme looks like. So this one is obviously green. Um, I think I'm going to go with a purple one for this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the purple one. All you want to do is just click on the three dots and download it. Or you can simply just right click the file and download it. It's as easy as that. Literally just find the theme you want, download it. You can even download all of the them if you want to it's entirely up to you this guy's basically giving them to everyone for free and what we're going to do is we're just going to wait for this to download it shouldn't really take too long because obviously they're only pictures so they're megabytes in size and um, google drive is very slow for me i don't know why but we're just going to wait for it and um, soon it will be done once it's finished um, zipping the file okay so google drive is a bit weird it says are you sure you want to leave um all you do is just click leave I think and it will just download. I don't know why it's doing this, maybe it's just me. But what I'm going to do is save it and then it will be saved in your downloads folder. Okay, so once we have got our theme back on the Reddit post, he also has a little guide here. Now, this guide is kind of just a picture, but um, I'm going to kind of follow this. I might do mine a bit different, um, but this is the simple guide on how to get your themes working. But what we're going to do is we're going to make sure our PS Vita is connected. We're going to go to our downloads folder, and we can basically get the theme installed very quickly. And later in the video, I'm probably going to try and make my own theme as well. Okay, so in my downloads folder, what I'm going to do is just make this a bit larger so you guys can see it. And all you want to do really is extract the folder outside of the zip file. So if you've got WinRAR or anything else, just drag the retro purple folder or whatever color you guys decided to get. Just drag it out into your downloads folder. So guys, make sure your PS Vita is connected. We are going to get our theme and we're going to right click it and simply just click on copy. Then we're going to go onto the PS Vita and what we want to do is go inside of the data folder. 
We want to go inside of the Retroarch folder, which is just here. And then we want to go inside of the Assets folder. Now inside of the Assets folder, you actually want to create a new folder called Wallpapers. So right click, new folder, and simply just type in Wallpapers, as easy as that. And then basically inside of this Wallpapers folder is where we're gonna paste in our themes. So as you can see, I've got Retro Blue. This is one I just tested earlier, just to make sure it worked before I filmed the video. And here is Retro Purple, and that is the one we're gonna use. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of Retro Retro Blue, I don't really need this anymore. Um, but what we want to do next is go inside of Retro Purple and we just want to copy this kind of like line of text at the top here. Right click copy it. We are going to edit it in a minute. Uh, you just want to copy it just so it's a bit easier. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back basically to the root of the RetroArch folder inside of the data folder. And we want to find RetroArch.cfg. What we're going to do with this file is we're going to right click it and we're going to edit it with Notepad, Notepad++. You can also edit this with VitaShell as well. But what you guys want to do on your keyboard is press Control F and you want to type in um, this one, not opacity. You just want to type in menu underscore wallpaper and now we're going to click on find next. And what it's going to do is it's going to find it for us. Now where that kind of like like string of text we copied just a few seconds ago. We need to press Control V or right click paste and we're basically going to paste this in um, to this kind of like text and this is where our menu is basically going to be. Okay so relating back to the guide that the guy made and um, what we actually have to do is kind of rename this. So I've already typed it out so you guys can copy me because I didn't really want to waste time typing it out but this is what you want to type in. So you want to edit it slightly, you want to edit the slashes to the other direction and we're going to do UXO slash data slash retroarch I actually spelled that wrong A-R-C-H retroarch just like that slash assets slash wallpapers and then slash whatever your theme is called mine was called retro purple and then slash menu.png if you guys have got this exactly right what you want to do is just click on the save icon at the top control S um, is the shortcut for most applications and then you pretty much got it saved as I said you can edit this with anything notepad plus plus normal notepad should be okay um, Vita shell does actually work you just got to type it out and it might take a bit longer but there you go that is literally it so simply just close this down we don't actually need it for now obviously if you want to change your wallpaper you might need it again and um, yeah I guess that is pretty much it so let's go back onto our PS Vita let's open up Retroarch and hopefully our theme should actually be working all right guys so I'm back from my computer and what we're going to do now is we're going to find Retroarch and we're simply just going to go ahead and load it up now it should actually be working by default uh, but if it isn't I will show you what to do anyway so just go and start it and my theme should automatically apply that is because I edited my config file over on my computer now if you're having problems and you can't see any kind of menu background what you want to do is go into settings I'd recommend doing this anyway because there is lots of stuff we can change so from here we just want to scroll down and we actually just want to go into user interface we're going to press circle and we want to scroll down again to appearance and then press circle and as you can see background here is menu.png now if yours isn't uh, what you can do is press circle on it and then you just browse for yourself so you go into UXO data the retroarch folder which we should all know um, then just the assets folder wallpaper and what it will let you do is just say use this directory obviously for me I've already got it using it so it's not coming up and um, but yeah that's pretty much how you edit it very easily and also inside of these settings there's lots of stuff we can change um, we can change the background opacity if yours is still like this what you want to do is set it to like 1000 or just 1.000 and you can change it so it becomes you know transparent or as it's just you know a hundred percent so you can see the image and nothing else um, you can edit this stuff as well and um, there's animations there's kind of like shadows and icons and stuff and yeah it's pretty cool there's so many different stuff that you can actually edit on RetroArch so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and make my own custom theme and we can see what that ends up looking like so this is the image that I'm going to test for my custom theme. If you guys are wondering the size, it's actually 960 by 544. So hopefully this should work quite well. What I'm going to do is just save this as menu.png. I could even replace it with the current one, you know, just for a test. And I guess we can see what it ends up looking like. So what I'm going to do is just save the old one. It's just menu 333, you know, just for a test. And I'm just going to paste in my new one, which is just menu.png. And now what we're going to do is basically just see if it worked. 
So here we are guys, I am back and as you can see the theme is working and I've also set some custom icons as well. And oh before I forget, let me show you guys how to do icons and I also kind of enlarge the screen, this is all in appearance. So what you do is you go to settings, obviously you scroll down and we're looking for the kind of like user interface, this one right here. Press circle to go onto it and go onto appearance, press circle and you just change everything in here. But once you change everything, obviously remember to save the config. But let me just show you if I just scroll down um, the settings that I changed just recently menu layout I changed to handheld and you do that just by scrolling left and right on the d-pad as you can see I just changed it sign different and now it looks like what this so maybe easier for you guys to see and then menu icon theme you can change these to whatever you want um, so you can scroll through and um, there's plenty of different ones as you can see there's this one there's loads um, loads to scroll through and you just have to wait about three seconds in between and the screen will go black don't worry it will turn back on it just takes a few seconds to kind of you know change your theme and um, yeah so there you go you can change as many stuff as you want and basically all you want to do to save it is obviously just press X to go all the way back to the main menu you want to scroll down on this option and we're looking for the configuration file and all you do here is just do save current configuration you press circle I don't want to save it because I like what I had before and obviously you can test it as much as you want um, you don't even have to save it you can close it down you can reopen it and then you can get back to what you had basically when you last saved it so that is pretty much it for this video that is how you make custom themes on Vita Shell very easy you can get custom icons as well and the built-in ones are perfectly fine I did have a look online but I couldn't really find any most of them were really horrible kind of you know stretched out Mario ones that just didn't look clean and um, the other ones are just kind of tacky so I just kind of didn't use them and um, if you guys know any good icons make sure to link uh, let me know in the description um, but yeah um, if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one